Okay, so you want to level your strength from 0 to level 3. I'm going to tell you how I was able to get this far in a very inexpensive way that doesn't involve you throwing a million Zarya's for millions and millions of rubles. I have gotten that far by using the following loadout. Get a, a helmet of your choosing, really, armor of your choosing, and then, and then load up a Makarov with one mag, get a WT rig, a Burkut, and I used fuel here, but you can even fill this up with shotgun shells. Basically get a million shotgun shells. The, these are the, uh, the buckshot slugs. They're relatively inexpensive. Buy a whole bunch of shotgun shells and just fill up this WT rig with them, along with your pockets and your entire burkut. If you're watching this well into the future, maybe like six months to a couple years into the future from when this video is posted, the number may be different. But at the time of recording this, the minimum weight needed so that you would start leveling strength as you walked is 48.75 kilograms. If you are at or above the weight of 48.75 kilograms, you will start to level weight as you walk. And this is one of the most inexpensive loadouts that you could go with. The reason I go with some protection and a Makarov is because I hit up Shoreline. You basically hit up Shoreline during the daytime so you can see scabs in front of you. You know, you go all the way here, ensure everything. Make sure your energy is up to... Make sure your energy is up to like 80 or above and just hit up Shoreline. And what you want to do before you even go into the raid is go to sound and just mute the entire game like so. And this is the reason why I chose the Kiver. It blocks my hearing, but I don't care, because I'm not going to hear anything anyway, in-game. Once you've muted your sound, you want to turn on your favorite podcast, or just start listening to your favorite music playlist or something, because otherwise this is going to be very boring. The whole reason I mute the game is because I'm going to be listening to a podcast or something, because of how time-consuming and boring this is. Alright, so here we are in-game, now, and we're trudging along. And uh, the route that I like to take is basically you want to reach this highway. It has the least probability of having actual players on it because most players should rush the resort up over towards the north. I'm going to call it north until Nikita gives us a compass. Your goal is to reach this highway and you should only really run into scavs along this route and not actual players. If you do, oh well. I'm not saying it'll always happen, but for the most part, you'll only go up against scavs, and this loadout is honestly enough to deal with the scav and take his gun. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, the only places, the only place you'll really run into a scav along this route is, aside from there, is at the is at the burning gas station. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, and I'm gonna. Uh, mute the game and listen to my podcast now. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, feel free to give it a th give the video a thumbs up. And if you really like my content, then feel free to subscribe. I'll definitely be dedicating my time to creating content for you. But yeah, without further ado, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you enjoyed and found it useful in leveling strength to level 3 for the to get those vents built. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time in the server. Have a good one.